Welcome to Your Space Journey, where we venture into the future of space exploration. Your journey begins now. What if I told you there's a world uh, right here in our solar system that might be teeming with alien life? Okay. And no, we're not talking uh, little green men here. Right. We're talking about a place where a hidden ocean exists beneath a shell of ice. Wow. An ocean that dwarfs all of Earth's oceans combined. Hmm. That's right. Today we're diving deep into the world of Europa. Okay. One of Jupiter's most fascinating moons. It's incredible to think that we have a celestial body relatively close to us that could hold the key to answering one of humanity's biggest questions. Mm -hmm. Are we alone in the universe? And you've come to the right place to learn all about it. We've got a mountain of information to unpack about NASA's mission to Europa, the Europa Clipper. Okay. But first, let's talk about what makes Europa so special. Well, what's captivating about Europa is the sheer scale of its potential. Okay. You see, evidence gathered over decades suggests a global saltwater ocean hiding beneath its icy exterior. And we're not talking about a mere puddle here. This ocean could hold twice the volume of all the water on Earth. So that's like, imagine all the oceans we know all the life they contain, yeah, and then double it. That's the potential scale we're talking about on Europa. Yeah. And the really exciting part. What's that? Where there's water, there could be life. Exactly. And not only is there potentially a vast amount of water, but scientists now believe Europa might also harbor the other essential ingredients for life as we know it. Yeah. A source of energy and the right chemical building blocks. So Europa isn't just a giant snowball. It's what we call an ocean world. An ocean world? A place where vast, potentially habitable oceans exist beneath the surface. This makes it a prime target in our search for life beyond Earth. An ocean world. Yeah. It sounds almost mystical. Right. But how do we even begin to investigate something buried under so much ice? Good question. Enter the Europix Clipper. Yeah. It's our robotic emissary. It's going to be great about the length of a basketball court, and it's ready to reveal Europa's secrets. And timing is key here. The launch is just days away, a testament to the incredible work and dedication of the team at NASA. Yeah, the level of precision and planning that goes into these missions, we're talking about launching a spacecraft on a journey of billions of miles. Yeah. No small feat. Absolutely. And it highlights the significance of what we might discover. The Europa Clipper is more than just a spacecraft. It's a symbol of humanity's drive to explore the unknown. So let's get into the specifics of this journey. Okay. When can we expect Europa Clipper to reach this incredible ocean world? Buckle up, because we're talking about a long haul. The spacecraft is slated to arrive at Jupiter in April 2030. 2030. So we have a bit of a wait ahead of us. Yeah. But that just gives us more time to dive into the mission itself. Okay, so we've got this sophisticated spacecraft hurtling towards a moon, a moon that might hold a key to life beyond Earth. It's very exciting. But how do we actually study an ocean hidden under miles of ice? Right. It's not like we can just send a submersible down there. Well, not yet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's where the ingenuity of the Europa Clipper mission really shines. Okay. It's equipped with nine cutting-edge science instruments. Wow. Nine. Each designed to scrutinize a different aspect of Europa. Okay. From its icy shell to its deep interior. So it's like a high-tech detective kit. Exactly. For unlocking the secrets of an alien world. I like that. So what's the first tool we're pulling out of this kit? Well, one of the most vital instruments is the ice-penetrating radar. Okay. It's essentially like using ultrasound. Uh -huh. to see inside the human body, but on a planetary scale. Okay. By analyzing how the radar signals bounce back, we can map the thickness of the ice shell oh, okay. and potentially even find pockets of water within it. Pockets of water within the ice. Yeah. So like underwater lakes trapped within the ice shell itself. Exactly. Now that's what I call a hidden oasis. Yeah. What else will we be looking at? We'll be utilizing a magnetometer right. to study Europa's magnetic field, Okay. which can tell us a lot about the composition and salinity of its hidden ocean. Really? It's like reading the fingerprint of a vast unseen sea. Okay, so we're piecing together clues about the ocean's makeup. Right. But I have to ask, how can we be sure this ocean is even active? Mm. For all we know, it could be a giant, lifeless ice cube. Well, that's where those long, linear cracks and ridges we see on Europa's surface come into play. Oh, okay. 
These features tell a story of a dynamic, geologically active world. Interesting. The ice shell is constantly shifting and cracking, yeah. likely due to the immense gravitational pull of Jupiter. That makes sense. And this constant movement could be crucial for transporting nutrients and energy between the surface and the ocean below. So it's not just a static ball of ice, but a world in motion, potentially with a beating heart of energy deep within. Exactly. And this leads us to one of the most tantalizing possibilities of all. Okay. Hydrothermal vents. What are those? On Earth, we find these vents on the ocean floor spewing out heat and chemicals from the planet's interior. These vents support thriving ecosystems, even in the absence of sunlight. Right. Those deep sea ecosystems that rely on chemosynthesis rather than photosynthesis. Yes. It's like something out of a science fiction novel, but they're very real. And there's a good chance similar vents exist on Europa's seafloor. Imagine it. A pitch black ocean warmed by the moon's internal heat. Okay. With hydrothermal vents spewing out chemicals that could provide the building blocks for life. It's like something out of a science fiction thriller. But instead of monsters, we might find microbes. Speaking of which, how exactly will the Europa Clipper get a closer look at all this? Hmm. We mentioned earlier that it's not actually landing on the surface. That's right. The spacecraft will be performing a series of close flybys, dipping in and out of Jupiter's intense radiation belts. Wait a minute, radiation belts? Yeah. Isn't that dangerous for the spacecraft? It's a definite concern. Jupiter's radiation belts are incredibly harsh, and prolonged exposure could fry the spacecraft's electronics. That's why Europa Clipper will perform a sort of cosmic ballet. The cosmic ballet. A carefully choreographed dance to minimize its time within the most intense radiation. Okay, you've got to paint me a picture here. Sure. What does that even look like? Okay, picture this. On each orbit around Jupiter, Europa Clipper will spend just a short time, less than a day, in the most intense part of the radiation belts, zipping past Europa, okay. and gathering as much data as possible with all instruments activated. Wow. Then it gracefully glides back out to a safer, more distant orbit for a couple of weeks to kind of recharge, uh -huh. download its data, and prepare for the next close encounter. This cosmic dance will continue for several years, allowing the spacecraft to maximize its scientific return while staying safe. It's like a carefully choreographed ballet, <sighs> but with a spacecraft and deadly radiation belts yeah. instead of dancers and tutus. Now that's what I call high stakes performance. Yeah. High stakes. Indeed. And speaking of high stakes, remember those plumes of water vapor we mentioned earlier? Ah, yes. Those plumes that erupt from the south polar region. Yes. Offering us a glimpse into the ocean below. Precisely. By analyzing the composition of those plumes, we can get a sneak peek at the ocean's chemistry, searching for those telltale signs of organic molecules. Okay. The building blocks of life as we know it. So we're talking about literally sampling the contents of a hidden alien ocean. Yeah. This is blowing my mind here. It's pretty cool. But hold on, I have to ask the big question. Why? Why does all of this matter? Why should people care about a mission to a moon billions of miles away. That's a question worth pondering. You see, the search for life beyond Earth isn't just about satisfying our curiosity. Okay. Although that's a big part of it. It's about understanding our place in the cosmos. It's like we're looking into a mirror, but the reflection is billions of years old. Yeah. And it might hold the answer to whether we're alone in the universe. It's a profound concept. You see, by studying Europa's ocean, we're essentially paring back in time to conditions that might have existed on early Earth. Oh, yeah. Potentially uncovering clues about the very origins of life itself. So it's about more than just finding aliens. Right. It's yeah. about understanding the fundamental story of life, how it began, where else it might exist. Exactly. And what forms it might take beyond our little blue planet. Precisely. And consider this, the technological advancements needed to make a mission like Europa Clipper possible often have ripple effects here on Earth. Okay. We're talking innovations in spacecraft engineering, instrument development, and data analysis that could lead to breakthroughs in fields like climate science, energy production, even medicine. It's amazing to think that exploring a moon billions of miles away could lead to solutions for some of our biggest challenges here at home. That's the beauty of scientific exploration. It pushes the boundaries of knowledge, inspires innovation, and often leads to discoveries in unexpected places. Oh. But beyond the practical applications, there's something deeply human about exploring the unknown. It speaks to our innate curiosity, our desire to understand our place in the grand scheme of things. 
It's like that feeling of looking up at the stars and feeling both incredibly small and incredibly connected to something much larger than ourselves. Exactly. And missions like Europa Clipper take that feeling to a whole new level. The mind boggles at the possibilities. Imagine if Europa Clipper actually finds evidence of life. Chills. Just thinking about it gives me chills. Even microbial life. What do you think the impact of a discovery like that would be? on humanity. It would be a paradigm shift, a moment that redefines our understanding of life itself. We would go from thinking that life might be a rare occurrence, a fluke confined to our planet, to realizing that the universe could be teeming with it. Imagine the implications for philosophy, religion, our entire worldview. It would be like that moment when humans realized the Earth wasn't flat, but a sphere. Yes. A whole new perspective would open up. It would be a profound moment in human history, sparking countless new questions and igniting the fires of exploration like never before. And to think, this is just the beginning. Europa Clipper is like a scout, a trailblazer for even more ambitious missions to come. Imagine the day when we send a lander to Europa or even a submersible to explore its hidden oceans. The possibilities are truly endless, and the most exciting discoveries might be those we haven't even imagined yet. I think we've given our listeners a lot to think about today. Europa, this icy moon on the edge of our solar system, might just hold the key to unlocking some of the biggest mysteries in the universe. Mm -hmm. And as Europa Clipper embarks on its journey, we're all invited to share in the wonder and anticipation of discovery. It's a privilege to be living in a time where we can ask such profound questions and send spacecraft on missions to seek answers. Absolutely. And to our listener, we leave you with this as you go about your day. Take a moment to picture Europa, this ocean world shrouded in ice, potentially teeming with life. Let your imagination run wild with the possibilities. Until next time, keep looking up and keep asking questions. Your Space Journey.